I just wanted to make a couple quick uh, announcements. One being, uh, I'm proud of each and every single one of you guys. That was a lot of work this year, and uh, we finished it. And uh, the other thing is, is uh, we're gonna give you guys an opportunity if you'd like to come up and share. Maybe you can stand down there and share. So you don't have to hit the stairs again. But uh, uh, share if anything you know spoke to you this year. If you just wanted to highlight something to the guys that are here. Thirdly, is that um, uh, last week I just mentioned uh, if you feel led to uh, contribute some money so we can keep men's fraternity going for next year. Uh, we, we did some promotional aspects last year. We had the signs scattered around the community. Um, we did some various other small things. We have five folds of things we try to hand out at churches just to bring awareness to what we're doing here. So if you feel led to uh, contribute to that, um, I'd like you to track down Matt Baldwin. He's our uh, assistant treasurer. And uh, you could uh, certainly give him a check or uh, cash and he will make sure we can put that to good use. But I would like to uh, finish with reading a quotation from the cadet prayer at West Point that is repeated every Sunday in chapel. Make us choose the harder right instead of the easier wrong, and never to be contented, contented with half-truth when the whole truth can be won. Endow us with courage that this is born of loyalty to all that is noble and worthy, that scorns compromise with vice and injustice, and knows no fear when right and truth are in jeopardy. I'll go ahead and uh, close this out in prayer, and then uh, I'll just set this mic up there if you guys would like to share a testimony or story, certainly do that. Lord God, I thank you for the opportunity to, um, to be in this facility. Uh, it's an amazing facility you provided for us, God. I just thank you for that. I praise God that, um, that these men came and they finished, Lord, and that uh, we really uh, made an impact for your kingdom. We uh, s saved marriages this year, probably. We um, gave children back their fathers. We gave co-workers and friends back uh, to their friends, Lord God. This men's fraternity curriculum and what you've spoken in the Robert Lewis and those other guys, Lord, is just uh, powerful, powerful tools for your kingdom, God. And I just pray a blessing over each one of these men that uh, as we leave here today that we will commit to um, loving you, loving our wives, and loving our children. God, I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So if you guys feel led, if you want to, you got to go to work, I understand, but if you'd like to share uh, a testimony or a short story about something that impacted you this year, I'll just this up here. Well, I think for me, um, I appreciate the intentionality that men's fraternity has brought to uh, my marriage and my, my uh, parenting. Uh, I've been thankful. I, I grew up in a broken home, but I've been thankful for my, my wife and her family and all their heritage that I've married into. But as a as a uh, as a father, uh, one of my my goals last year was when we had a family vacation that each child and each of us would have their day, and I put together uh, some pictures and stuff on a video. And last year, we, when we went on a family vacation, there was, there was Jody Day, and Bethany Day, and Melody Day, and Roy Day, I got mine too, and we all got to pick what the whole group would do. And uh, my girls have still shared with me, they're away at school now, but they have shared with me what that day meant to them, not just that they got to choose what to do, but they got to see uh, the memories that I had put together and, and just a moment to tell them you know, what they mean to me. Even though the words fall short, I try, and the message got through. So I appreciate it. I would not have done that, that intentionality, if I had not gone through this. So that's just been a real treasure for my family. And the girls are going to do it again this year. They said, Dad, we are doing that. So now it's a yearly thing. So thank you. You know, over the years, as I try to walk with my Lord, there was one time I was doing a nursing home service, and things was getting pretty tough, whatever. And I was watching a TV show one time, 
didn't have anything to do with my uh, nursing home service, but, but the Lord spoke to me out of that service, out of that, uh, it was something to do with cooking, because I love to eat. <laughs> <laughs> but what the Lord spoke to me there was out of Philippians 1, 6 that God don't make any, this is just highlighting this, this scripture, that God don't make any junk out of any of us. And not only that, he will see us through to the end. And that scripture has stayed with me all through my Christian life since that scripture was presented to me from God. And there's many times I have failed him in my walk. But he has always come back and blessed me and put his arms around me. And them are great experiences. And I remember one time when my son, we went, uh, he was in BMX bike racing. And this is something what the announcer said, that to finish the race, but his son kept falling down three different times. He finally got up to finish the race, even if he was last. But the audience gave him the most ovation than whatever the winner was. My son was at this race. It was a state race and the BMX race in his class. And it had rained all night. It was up in Mendota. And he started off at the beginning and his foot slipped off the pedal and he went down but he didn't give up he got up got back on that bike and pedaled it was all over his heart and he won the race but that much of his uh, wheel and that that's something because that's what God expects us if we just make it that far into the uh, relationship with him. He would follow us through and carry us like the foot, footprints. He will carry us through. And you may uh, look back on the footprints, you only see one print after so much in our lives down through the years. If it wasn't for him, we would never finish the race. All right, we're here with Tom Gensler uh, with Men's Fraternity. Uh, we just got done with the uh, graduation ceremony and uh, want to allow Tom to say a little bit about the uh, fraternity and, and uh, what it is. Yes, uh, Men's Fraternity is a three-year curriculum that uh, actually started in Little Rock, Arkansas uh, by a prompting of a pastor uh, called, uh, named uh, Dr. Robert Lewis at uh, Fellowship Bible a Church, and his men were just kind of asking, uh, what is there out there, what's more, uh, than just a regular Bible study. And it was from that that, uh, that Robert kind of put together Men's Fraternity 1, and then, you know, through that uh, a series of uh, Men's Fraternity 2 and 3 developed, just uh, really tackling a lot of manhood plans, a lot of manhood struggles and things that we deal with in life uh, as Christian men, as husbands, as fathers, as co-workers. And uh, Men's Fraternity is uh, currently, I think, at over 17,000 locations worldwide because it uh, deeply resonates with men and kind of speaks to their soul. Uh, is, is that man food that uh, when, a man, when a man hears it, he desires uh, that uh, he desires uh, what, what, he's, what he's hearing and teaching. Because I think we, we, we go into life and we're, um, we quickly find out that we're, we're ill-equipped. And um, Robert Lewis uh, just kind of puts us on a tool belt and gives us things that uh, we're uh, able to uh, head into life with um, as Christian men uh, to uh, have successes as Christ followers, husbands, and uh, uh, parents with our children. And I'd like to uh, introduce uh, Steve Bull. Steve, is, uh, Steve actually is, is, uh, has become a good friend of mine, and I've spent some time uh, discipling Steve this year, and uh, I thought men's fraternity would be a great opportunity uh, for him to just experience... Um, uh, some authentic manhood stuff that, uh, that maybe he was deeply uh, desiring in his life. And uh, Steve, just share with us a little bit about uh, 
men's fraternity, you know, why you wanted to be a part of it, um, what, what, what kind of just, um, what kept you coming, and, um, you know, really what, what you took from this whole opportunity. Uh, first of all, uh, thank you, Tom, for uh, interviewing me today. And uh, basically, I came to men's fraternity to uh, get a better outlook on life. And uh, it, every morning, getting up early just uh, made put a lot of excitement in my life. And uh, it made a lot of self-goals come true. Uh, men's fraternity has showed me a different uh, prospect and uh, just outlook on life. It's just tremendous. Uh, way of going through and learning different things that I didn't know and each time there's different chapters of learning life lessons. Yes, e each week we meet uh, Thursday mornings uh, at 6 a.m. and this year two is a 16 week study. The whole goal of year two is to um, finish with 10 key moves uh, that you can go forward with the rest of your life and to um, just kind of try to live those out. And Steve, what, uh, give me a key move that you think was very important in your life and something that you think that you'll go forward with and really make some impact with. Uh, taking Christ to work was one of my favorites. Uh, basically trying to spread the word and, and be good to other uh, people that are your coworkers and uh, just share yourself and be good and live godly ways at work. And uh, it was one of those things where I started using and utilizing it in my own position where I work. You know, one of the things that I really, that, that I really uh, enjoy about men's fraternity is Robert challenged me uh, two years ago to go out and live out my faith. And uh, Steve came into my life, and we've known each other for a long time, but hadn't talked for a long time. And uh, it was through, through realizing that, um, that uh, Steve, Steve needed to deepen his relationship with Christ, and I knew that uh, men's fraternity certainly provided tools that would equip him to uh, head forward into life and, uh, you know, set some goals, accomplish them. Uh, gain some, you know, ground with Christ, and uh, one day, uh, you know, when he finds the right uh, mate, uh, get married, and, ha and uh, just, you know, move forward with with that with that part of his life. 